Kia ora e te tīma. Ko Tanisha Jiazi toko ingoa. Um, today we're going to do a 30 minute energizer session to get you writing and to find the fun and uh, get it all happening. So let's get into it. Are you feeling a bit paralyzed with your writing or a bit lost in the enormous woods? Have you got a writing problem that you do not know the solution for and you're putting it's putting you off writing anything at all? Well, you may have writer's block. There's a bunch of literature on this. This is what helps. Plan your writing time. Limit your distractions. Ensure you're comfortable and alert. Get natural light happening, if you can possibly help it. And write anything at all. Just start writing. So we've got a bit of a plan for the next few minutes. We're going to try out a few different tasks and see what works for you, basically. The idea is to get you motivated, feeling empowered, and have a bit of fun. So let's get into it. Small goals, regular rewards. And I'm a big fan of this. And the reward might be really yummy chocolate or a proper coffee. Well, that's just peachy, Tanisha, but I still feel totally stuck. I think it's writer's block. Okay, you got 60 seconds, and I want you to write as many words as you can think of that rhyme with one of these three words. Ten seconds left. Press the enter button. Get as many of those wonderful thoughts into there as you can. Thank you. Well done. Splat. Rough. You. Chu. Mu. Su. Do. Lu. Screw. Brew. Mew too. <laughs> Okay, well done. Now I want you to brainstorm six words, and six words only, that describe your relationship to academic writing. What is your relationship to academic writing? What's true for you today? Other people in these workshops have tended to come up with words that describe their relationship to academic writing. The kinds of words that, that often feature are things like difficult, hard, complex, complicated, 
long, takes a long time. Um, formulaic. And occasionally I'm delighted to find that some people write something like interesting, stimulating, um, satisfying. Now I would like you to write a single grammatically correct sentence about elephants. The sentence should be factual. Write it as clearly as possible and try to include a word in your sentence that you have not used for a long time that makes sense. <laughs> have a go. Okay, time's up. Elephants are large land dwelling mammals. There are two types of elephant. You know, these are these are examples of short, simple clear, grammatically correct sentences about elephants. And what I find is that there's, there tends to be two types of writers. There are those of us who like to write down all the ins and outs and caveats of a, of a sentence just to get our ideas onto the page and then come back and edit it later. 
and there are those of us who like to work on the sentence as it's emerging to make sure that we absolutely nail it the very first time. Now about 80 or 90 percent of writers fall into that first group but there are some of us who write perfect sentences one at a time and in terms of writer's block it's a great idea to just try to get anything onto a page because having words on a page to edit is much easier than staring at a blank, that blank page. And a lot of these activities are created in order to get you to be putting words, get, get, getting your brain into a rhythm of putting words onto a page um, and getting your just getting that rhythm, getting that motion, that momentum. And then once you've once you've got that, then you settle into the ins and outs of the details of what you need to achieve in terms of your writing plan for that session. Can you please write five words to describe excellent academic writing? Five words, what are your five top words for excellent academic writing? Five seconds. Well done. So the kinds of words that turn up tend to be things like succinct, clear, engaging. And there's a bunch of other words that I'm sure you've no doubt come up with. And so I find it a useful thing to do to identify pieces of writing that others have written that I would call it an excellent piece of academic writing. It's a good idea to notice what they are doing so that we can do that too. Stand on the shoulders of giants, right? So you need three sentences or more, but a three sentence paragraph will do. Statement sentence, explanation sentence, and example sentence. Now the example sentence can be either an example or an em to emphasize or to demonstrate the consequence. Now I want you to write the other two sentences about elephants to complete your paragraph using the C formula. You're going to have two minutes for this activity, so you've got one minute for each one. Go ahead.
The time pressure is intentional. If you are struggling to get words onto a page, it is really important and useful as a warm-up activity that you begin with a short time pressurized writing activity, such as any of the ones that we've been through in the last 20 minutes or so. Um, it's important because when you've got that time pressure, you've only got a minute to come up with X, Y, Z, then that can um, help to put your ego to the side a bit and allow you to be more creative and just get something on the page without worrying about whether it's perfect or how perfect it is. If you don't find that the time pressure, wait just one minute, if you don't find that the time pressure um, works for you, then you need to either change the task for what you are trying to write within that amount of time or you need to change the amount of time. But it should be a challenge for you. And as, if you do a warm-up activity like this at the beginning of a writing session, just to get you into the mode of thinking with words, writing with words, getting words on a page, then move on to your task. Then uh, many people find this really helpful to getting them straight into hit the ground running. So that's all from me. Um, now it's your opportunity to just get into writing and I wish you all the best for your academic writing adventures. Thank you. Kakitiano.